Welcome to an edition of Point Taken, where we engage with eminent figures across sectors in Hong Kong on key issues facing the region. The last few months have brought about major policy revitalization initiatives for Hong Kong, including the recent National 14th Five-Year Plan and the city's role in that. One area which has been emphasized with the hopes for further development is in the arts and culture, and how Hong Kong can elevate the next level in nurturing local talent and becoming a hub in the arts in the region. My guest today is a prominent businessman and politician. He's the incumbent non-official convener of the Executive Council and helms various major cultural and arts ent entities, both in the private and public sector, Mr. Bernard Chan, who will share his thoughts on how Hong Kong can further thrive in the arts going forward. I wanted to start with Carrie Lam's upcoming policy address. And what do you hope to expect from that with regards to the city's focus on developing its arts and culture capabilities for the youth in Hong Kong? Well, obviously, because uh, it's been, arts and culture is now being uh, front and center, a very important piece of uh, the future for Hong Kong under the uh, 14 five years plan. So we're supposedly now gonna be the gateway, right? The, the connecting uh, China to the world under the arts and culture. So, so you can imagine that, um, that is already like set in stone. So, you know, and we do have a lot of offerings given that we have uh, West Kowloon uh, Culture District, which is the prime um, uh, development in arts and culture for Hong Kong. And it's not just for Hong Kong, it's, it's gonna be regional, right? So, some, some of these offerings uh, under the culture district, including M Plus, uh, Palace Museum, uh, and also the Lyric Theater, to be completed. These are all uh, facilities that's going to be a a, 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 leader, a leader in this whole region. I have to say Hong Kong has been slow in our arts and culture offerings in the past, but we're finally now in the right place at the right time, given that we spent you know, you know, almost two decades in finishing up the hardware. So, but now that we have the hardware, well, we need the software. Sure. And one of, one of the software sure. is people. I, start, I finished with a studio art degree 30 years ago. I was too ashamed to admit that I study art because you don't feel you've been accepted. But that's what 30 years ago. But today, if you look at the young generation, I, I don't think the young people of Hong Kong would want to just to be an, another banker, a lawyer, accountant, or they want to um, work in an area that they enjoy. And arts and culture definitely is very appealing to them. Especially, we're not even talking about the, the same old, same old arts and culture. Uh, now, art tech is definitely one. I mean, now we are com combining arts with technology. There's a lot of fusion going on. And music is also, you know, so it's exciting that sense is, um, that we do now have opportunities to offer beyond, you know, just your typical finance and professional, uh, 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 professional jobs. Yeah, you mentioned crossover. I think that also applies to regional cr uh, crossover now with the expansion. For example, the recent Xi'anhai Economic Cooperation Zone expansion, and the cr the more Hong Kong integrates with the rest of the Greater Bay Area, you're going to see channels open up and the floodgate, like you mentioned, of people, of youth, of talent, of ideas. So can you talk about how now that um, things like the Xi'anhai Economic Cooperation Zone and other initiatives from the Greater Bay Area expansion, what will that do to help infuse and promulgate different cultural and art, artistic value for Hong Kong? It's, I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, it's all going to be about talents, right? How do we, how do we attract attract the best talent to Hong Kong and vice versa you know and when we say attract talents to, it, 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 you don't really have to be stuck in one location right you can be so mobile people can come come back and forth uh, but of course what Hong Kong offer is um, is not just the whole design of the the art offerings uh, music offering the whole out, the whole cultural offering it's never aimed just for the seven million people right we always have aim for the regional, uh, not just GBA, but even ASEAN. You know, obviously GBA is just our, our next door neighbor, but 
but Hong Kong should be that gateway. So how are we going to connect the ASEAN with GBA via Hong Kong, right? And vice versa. You know, maybe right. we have some of the ASEAN's uh, cultural offerings being in Hong Kong, offering to GBA market, right? So it's it's a very exciting time because uh, as soon as when we announced the opening of Talent Zoom, uh, already you know we already received phone calls from as I said uh, from you know from potential partners in France and um, Liechtenstein and and us Singapore us so everyone's calling us up because they're excited they're excited that you know they want to be here too. I like you mentioning ASEAN and just the greater region around Southeast Asia because you know as you know in Hong Kong there's a large Southeast Asian population here. Many of them are musicians, and I I just I personally just like to. Uh, Imagine again Hong Kong, or perhaps Hong Kong becoming like the Los Angeles of the area of the region where people from not just the Greater Bay Area, um, but also around Southeast Asia can come. And in the way that people would go to LA to fulfill a creative artistic dream. We, we, are, we definitely still have a long way to go, but definitely yes. Uh, I certainly think Hong Kong can achieve that uh, you know, sometime in the future uh, because we have all the right ingredients. But, we, but again, it comes back to that very important uh, key component. Talent. Talent, right? If this, what, what you just described can only happen if we can get, attract those talent to come to Hong Kong, right? What about nurturing talent? Yeah, so that's the key, right? So, but it's kind of like chicken and egg until you have a decent side of the ecosystem then you don't, you don't get to you know, attract these talents to come to Hong Kong, right? You know, I think very few can afford to build what we are building right, in Hong Kong right now. Um, and more to come, by the way, you know, the whole uh, once uh, the first two phases of the park is built and, and when the commercial, uh, the F&B, the, all the uh, earnings from the, resi uh, the commercial residential start to come, we have, the resources to, to further expand the park, right? We have others, uh, Broadway, Broadway uh, theaters and all this will still come. I mean, that's a grand plan. So once we have that ecosystem been built, we can start attracting attention and attracting those talents to come. And once you have that talent, that then I have no doubt. It opens more doors. More doors and we, we will become that what you described Los Angeles. Uh, so I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful that we do have a roadmap. Mr. Bernard Chen, thank you so much for taking the time for, to speak with me.